diagonal lines that sweep from corner to corner. A light must be placed in that window. Have you a light? Mr. Jarvis. Oh, yes. Do you know? I believe you're right. Yes, I'm sure right. What a shame the artist is dead. You would have convinced him to put a light in that window. We don't need the artist for that. No? Well, you don't mean to suggest that... You could do it. With my little paint and brushes. You don't need paint or brushes. What do you mean by that? Come closer to the painting. Have you ever taken a really good close look? I don't mean simply to the point where you can see the swells and little hills and valleys of paint. I mean close enough to get to the very heart of the pigment. It can be done, Mr. Jarvis. Your eye has traveled up this road a thousand times. Now let's travel up it together. All it takes is a little imagination. And you are a man of imagination. See how the road yawns out invitingly beyond the frame. Feel the cold dampness of those walls. Brush past the dead, dry fingers of that tree. Push through those mysterious banks of whirling mist. Ah, see how fresh and bright the flowers look. <laughs> Nothing very mysterious about them. Ah, but Mr. Jarvis, now this is what I really want you to look at. Would you step a little closer, please? That's it. Now just look at that door. I feel that all that I would have to do is to raise my stick and knock and it would sound like... <gasps> but... what? Shall we go in? Don't be shy. This is my home. 